Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss one very important concept related to system design interview process, okay? And that is high priority queuing or messaging system design, okay? So what is that? It is nothing but in our data structure, algorithm, course, whatever we studied on priority queue, that same kind of funda here it is asked. That is, maybe you just consider like this way one scenario your company is providing a service to the customers where it is basically taking the word document from customers and then it is converting that to pdf and providing that pdf file to the customers okay now there are two major segment of your customers one is those customers who are basically your paid subscriber and another one is who are using that service for free okay now obviously those who have paid for that service their work has to be prioritized compared to the free service users right that is quite obvious right so how you can design that kind of system that's what i am going to cover in this particular video okay so here we are having our source maybe here customers is uploading the content the word document and here the consumer side basically is converting that word document to pdf and returning that all these stuff is happening now what we can do if you check the Amazon SQS features, okay, here we will get a very important hint. So obviously you can understand here, it is high priority queue in the sense queue concept is there. So we have to use SQS, okay. Now if you go little bit below here, you can see that with respect to priority in SQS, there is no inbuilt feature is there. All it is saying that you have to use separate queue to provide prioritization of work, okay. So what you can do, you can create two different queues, okay. One queue will contain those requests which are coming from paid subscriber and another queue will contain all the free users, okay. And that way you can basically segregate the traffic itself and then you can process them explicitly by prioritizing the uh, priority queue or that queue work which is containing the request from the paid users, okay. So how we can do, let me just show you the design. So here I'll be going to SQS and here I'll be taking one SQS queue and here I have another SQS queue, okay. Now here from source system, the source system has to take the responsibility that if the particular request is coming from paid users, then it will be dumping all the requests to this queue, okay. And if the request is coming from those users who are accessing that service for free, those will be coming in this particular SQS queue. Okay, so let me write here. Uh, let me reduce the size a little bit. So here it goes my priority queue. Okay, now what we'll do? We will create two consumer. Okay, maybe the consumer can be Lambda or EC2, whatever consumer service we are using. So from the priority queue, it will go to this particular consumer, and this is basically for free service okay so this free service users request will be consumed by this consumer okay so this consumer as i said it can be lambda or ec2 if it is ec2 then what we will do we must have to ensure that the ec2 can serve the request of this sqs queues very quickly okay because here paid users requests are there maybe high configured ec2 we can launch auto scaling enabled and highly available using load balancer all those architectures we can implement okay if you are using lambda for serving the request then we can tune properly the amount of memory what the lambda is using and the timeout interval to a proper value such that the the lambda can basically response or serve the request to the paid user quickly right so that kind of stuff we can do so this is a very simple design what i discussed okay nothing complicated only thing is we are sending the priority work to another queue and then a high configured consumer will consume that to process it faster and there is a separate queue which where the consumer is not that much high configured it can be a simple or medium level of configuration also perfectly fine a single ec2 instance kind of that and then it will serve the free services okay but the problem with this particular service or this particular architecture is here the source has to take the responsibility to properly put the content in priority queue or this queue 
based on which segment of customer is requesting right but might be this overhead or extra burden from source system we might have to eliminate okay source will just put the data and then the next step whatever system is there they need to intelligently put either in this queue or that queue so what we can do we can just uh, delete this particular place and maybe in between this here we can put event page okay or also we can put sns so in sns also content based filtering is there in event bridge also i can set up rules and based on that i can put the content in destination right so here what will happen i will just uh, put it properly here from event bridge only the request will be going to this particular queue also so now what will happen when source will be sending the request it will be sending one particular key value pair in the details or message metadata or attribute whatever you say there it will be mentioning whether the message is coming from free service users or paid users okay and in event bridge we can configure a rule or in sns we can put a content based message filtering concept there is subscription policy we can put where we can configure that if it is coming from paid user it should go to this queue because this is the our priority based pipeline and if the request is coming from free user based on that attribute or field we can basically route all those free users traffic to this queue okay so this is what about a simple architecture to implement priority queue or high priority messaging service in aws okay and all this kind of work around we are doing because in aws sqs default case there is no concept of priority queue okay sqs is simple queue service you can apply the queue concept in fifo order by properly launching the sqs that is not a problem but whenever it comes to prioritizing the work then there is no direct way we can opt for this option okay so i hope you understood this and enjoyed this you just try to implement this particular concept in your project if you are facing this kind of challenges okay already i have explained even bridge integration with sns sqs all this kind of stuff you can explore and try it out and play with aws services to have a good idea about the system design i'll be continuously uploading some more concepts related to system design which are very frequently asked in aws related interview process till then stay tuned thank you for watching